As I continue to test out and uh, learn how to use whiteboard.chat, I wanted to explore what it would look like to uh, attempt to kind of re reverse engineer a hyperdoc in whiteboard chat. So I went to the hyperdoc.co website and searched for some math uh, hyperdocs, and I found this uh, example of adding and sub subtracting fractions um, from the website from, uh, looks like last name is Peterson. And uh, so, you know, if most of you are familiar with a hyperdoc, you, this particular one is set up around explore, explain, apply, and create. And on each of the pages, there's an activity that the students are meant to do. In this particular activity, they are asked to go out to third-party websites such as Quizzes and Flipgrid. And what I'm going to try and do is recreate this experience, but keep it all within whiteboard chat and see if we can't uh, achieve the same results. So I knew that I wanted to keep much of the uh, graphics and, and the format for this. So I started by going to file and download and as a PDF. Uh, and then I went back over to whiteboard chat and I wanted to start by importing all of the PDFs and I clicked on upload file, clicked on from computer. And when you upload a multi-page PDF to whiteboard chat, it automatically creates a new page for each page within the PDF. And in the lower left-hand corner down here, I can open up the uh, thumbnail view and you can see this is my finished product. Some of these are pages that came from the original HyperDoc and several of them have been kind of modified and created. So I uh, wanted to put some instructions here. So I instructed the students to go to page two and on page two, they have um, some, some uh, instructions again. And then I created a, uh, a box around each of the tabs here and I created a hyperlink. So uh, when you uh, create a shape over this explore uh, tab, and then I went down to add a link, when you add a link within uh, uh, whiteboard.chat, you can either link to an outside website or you can link to a page within the book. So this is, uh, again, kind of recreating the whole HyperDoc idea, being able to uh, hyperlink within a document from page to page. So this uh, setup is here for the students to be able to uh, maneuver through the exercise. The next part uh, that was in the original was a series of YouTube videos. So um, Whiteboard Chat allows me to embed a YouTube video here. And so I uh, included the instructions here in this tab, as well as a space where my expectation is that the students are going to either type out some notes or they could use the uh, brush tool to uh, write out some notes. And uh, this is part of the explore feature of this particular HyperDoc. And I've got some instructions here. So this is replicated three times as in the original, there were three short YouTube videos that the students were to watch. So all three are uh, similar formats. And then the next page is where we start to get into the apply feature. So the original was a, a, a word problem uh, where the students were to recreate that word problem uh, on a piece of paper and then upload a picture of the solution. So what I did here was I went and found a similar uh, similar example and you'll notice here that i have the youtube video but i have it restricted to play only for uh, a minute and a half and then the students are to drag these numbers uh, to recreate this finished product so when you press play it starts with a blank uh, here so they pause and the students would bring um, two and then two thirds these uh, numbers and this uh, dash came from the uh, manipulatives library. When you click on the palette in the top here, you have this large selection of manipulatives that you can add to the whiteboard. And so I went to letters and scroll down and found the numbers and drag those out onto the board. And then after I drag those out onto the board, I right clicked the, the, the large number two and the large number one are only gonna be one instance of each but the other numbers have to be dragged out multiple times. So I right clicked on those to uh, bring up the select menu. And I went down and said, students can clone and students can move. Okay, 
So that will allow the students to, every time they click on the two, another instance will come up. And the idea is the students are supposed to apply what they're learning and they're listening uh, as a hands-on activity right here. Moving on to the next page, another example of the apply where they have a couple of problems here that are written out. And the idea is to complete the problems to find the common denominators and then solve. So they can either type within this box or they can use the brush tool to draw as I did here. And then these boxes over here on the right are actually the right answers. You can notice that these boxes here on the end are border around them and they are actually text boxes. And I put the instructions in here, type in the answer in the box. And I'll show you what this looks like on the student page here in a second. So the students would actually do this work. And then when they click, I'm finished up here at the top, I will get an, uh, the teacher will get a notification and then you can actually go and um, click on auto correct all boards and the students will get feedback whether they got the answer correct or not. Uh, one option that I was exploring is you could uh, also put a um, student signal here and I might put a stoplight here. If I move the stop sign down and set this to red and then give the students a um, give the students the instructions that they should not move on from here until they click the I'm finished. So that's just another idea here within um, whiteboard chat chat. Coming up to the last exercise here, uh, the now we've moved on to the to the final step, and that's explain. And in the original, the explain was supposed to be using Flipgrid, but uh, you can accomplish the same uh, idea here, right here within Whiteboard Chat. So the instructions here, which need to be aligned a little bit better, um, use either the webcam or audio recorder to explain how you would solve each of these. So the students could, if they wanted to, use the brush and type out some answers here, but then the expectation is that they are going to go to add webcam, audio, or video and record, record their answer uh, so that you can hear their thinking and you can um, understand whether they understand the problem uh, and how to work through this particular example. Lastly, we get to the end where they are supposed to create and the uh, instructions are that they're supposed to create a real world story problem from start. They can use images, fraction, icons, text or drawing, and then they're supposed to explain it either in text or video. Uh, so you can see here, uh, I included the um, credits here at the end for the original uh, for the original artwork and the original HyperDoc. Um, not trying to take credit at all for this, just trying to show how you can go from a HyperDoc where there is um, some student interaction and some active learning type activities here uh, and import that into Whiteboard Chat. And I would say, uh, accomplish the same thing and, and even at a higher level because you do have that opportunity to um, have the mini manipulatives here. The teacher can also get on to the student board at any time so that they can give them feedback. And then there is that autocorrect feature uh, included here. So let me see if I can actually open up a student board real quick. I have it set up such that the students do not have to log in. So it just uh, entered me in because I had already joined this board. If I go to down here on the bottom, here's a quick tip. You can actually type in the page number that you want to go to, to directly, uh, just it by one, or you have to tab through by clicking the arrow. So uh, as the name, as the title says here, type the answer in the box. So if I type in five, nine, I'm going to get this one wrong and 55 over 40. So I tell the teacher that I'm done. I click I'm finished. Let's go back over to the teacher board. You can see here that I get a notification that the teacher is a student is done and I can go up here and auto correct all boards. And now I will toggle back to the student board and I will see that they get instant feedback here. I got this one right, this one right, that one wrong and this one right. So hopefully that uh, gives you a good sense of what's possible here. Hopefully you can see some ways to add some functionality to tools that you're already using, leveraging Whiteboard Chat. Uh, they're con constantly uh, evolving.
evolving and updating this app. So stay tuned and check out their website, free website, whiteboard.chat, if you want to get started.